How on earth would you name this molecule? Well, let's start, of course, by looking for the longest carbon chain. Don't be fooled by how this molecule has been drawn out. The longest carbon chain is one, two, three, four, five. So it must be pent. We'll then look for our functional group. We have a carbon-carbon double bond, making this an alkene, ending our molecule in ene. And don't forget to position where that double bond is. Now we have two options, and of course we always want the smallest possible number. So we could either have pent 1,2-ene or 1,2,3-ene, so the two wins. Pent 2-ene. We have this CH3, which is a branch, so we have to include that as well. As there's only one carbon on this branch, we call this branch methyl. And we'll say where that methyl is through numbering. Again, smallest possible number. We've already said that this is carbon number two, so this must be carbon number three. Three methyl, pent two ene. Now our keen chemists will notice that this would also have EZ isomerism. Make sure that you always look out for stereoisomerism when you're drawing your alkenes.